What's going on guys? So late last night, Comex released an update to his jailbreakme.com. This is a long-awaited update. We've all been expecting an update to jailbreakme.com for quite some time, and it is now finally out. Um, this jailbreak supports a number of different firmwares and a number of different devices, all the way up to 4.3.3 firmware, as well as the iPad 2. So those of you who were waiting to jailbreak your iPad 2, you can do that now with this updated jailbreak. I'll go ahead and just read off all of the firmwares and all of the devices that are supported with this jailbreak so there aren't any questions and you can know right away if you can jailbreak. So like I said, the iPad 2 is supported on 4.3.3 firmware. The original iPad is still supported 4.3 all the way up to 4.3.3 firmware. The original iPhone and iPhone 3G are not supported, but the iPhone 3GS is supported 4.3 all the way up to 4.3.3 firmware as well. The iPhone on AT&T is supported 4.3 all the way up to 4.3.3 and the Verizon iPhone is also supported as well 4.2.6 firmware all the way up to 4.2.8. The third generation and fourth generation iPod Touch are supported as well 4.3 all the way up to 4.3.3 firmware. So in order to do this jailbreak, all you have to do, just like before, jailbreakme.com, open up Safari on whatever device you want to use. You don't have to plug in anything, no computer, no Mac, PC, none of that is necessary. Just open up Safari on whatever device you want, type in jailbreakme.com, go to the site, you'll get a page that looks like this. You can read all about the information, you can go to more information if you have any questions before you jailbreak. Um, I'm not going to go through this right now, I just want to show you how to install the jailbreak. You're going to see this button down here that says free. Just like an App Store app or City application, all you have to do is tap on free and then hit the green install button. I've already jailbroken my iPad just to make sure it worked, but the first time you do it, all you have to do is let it load just like it would an App Store application. It will install and you're ready to go. You can open up Cydia. It'll ask you if you are a developer, hacker, or user. Pick whatever you want. You can do developer just so you don't have any filters and then you are good to go. Cydia will work 100% on any device that you have jailbroken. So that's it, that's all you had to do. One step, download and install Cydia, and you're done really, really easy. If you need any help or have any questions, please post a comment down below or send me a message and I will do my best to help you out. I will post the jailbreakme.com link in the underbar. I'll also have a link to Comex's Twitter, um, a whole bunch of other sites if you need any help. I'll also have a link to my Twitter. I always answer my at replies. So uh, if you want to follow me, go right ahead, twitter.com slash wadethekid. Um, I'm always on there, so if you need me help, send me a message or an at reply, like I said. Um, and also post a comment down below letting us know if it worked or if it didn't. Um, should work. Not any problems. I haven't had any problems with it. Um, but uh, do make sure, post a comment down below to uh, let everyone know what device you used and uh, if it worked. Again, if you need me help, feel free to let me know or help everybody else in the comments. And I'll see you guys in the next video.